So I went to Sephora. Usually, I don't do this much damage in one month. It's like the perfect bright pink. Okay. <laughs> or I've also thought about starting the Boys of Tommen series. Being around children, they I love working with children. Like it doesn't even feel like work. I just I literally just decided last minute that I'm gonna start vlogging today, so hi. It's Friday, and I feel like starting a vlog on Friday is weird, and in a way I might do a weekend in my life. But I know like tomorrow I'm working a lot, so I don't know. But regardless, we're starting the vlog, we'll see where it leads. I'm about to go to Target because they're having the buy two, get one free deal, discount. I don't know, but they're having a buy two, <laughs> buy two, get one free on books, so I'm going. And I don't need any more books, but it's a deal, like I have to take advantage of the deal. I just have to see, I just wanna look. And then I also might go to Sephora because they're having a Sephora sale too. It's just gonna be a shopping little afternoon. I always shop, but it's fine. It's fine. You're only young once, okay? It is so windy today. Like, it's gonna literally blow something over. It's so windy lately. And it's hot like in the car, but I was cold a second ago. Okay, I'm currently listening to Girl on the Train. So far, so good. I'm a little bit confused, so I might have to go back a few chapters. <laughs> but so far, it's entertaining. I'm just like, I think there's two different POVs, maybe three. That's where I'm confused. Is it two or three? And it's like past, present, perspective, timeline, whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. All right, let's drive to Target. Okay, I just got out of Target. It is so hot though. Like I need my air to be blasting, so I'm sorry if you hear that. I would give you a haul now, but like I'm sitting straight in the sun. My camera's in the sun and I don't want to be in the sun for too long because it's going to overheat and just die anyways. <sighs> and there's a lot of people around me right now, I'm not going to lie. But I'm getting so much better at not only being alone in public, like I wasn't even that anxious to come to Target today, which that's a big one for me. And I'm getting better at like filming, not like vlogging because that's still up here and I'm like only a little level right now. That's like boss level. And I'm still like on level one. So I mean filming like on my phone, like filming the books I'm looking at. Like I did a TikTok and I was like not that embarrassed to be, you know, and that's like a lot for me. That's a win for me. So I feel like I'm definitely getting better at just being more confident in myself, not caring about what people think and just doing what I want and going places alone. Like I'm excited to do that now which is so crazy. Like at the beginning of this year, if you told me I had to go somewhere alone, heart palpitations. And the other day I called my dentist and I didn't even put it off because I had changed my appointment. And I was like, okay, I need to call them now. That way like I have time to reschedule. And I just like immediately called them. Like when I thought of it, like I didn't put it off for a week and have anxious thoughts about it. Waking up in the middle of the night anxious about it, you know, like I actually just did it. So that's a win for me too. And I'm just proud of myself this month. Like I'm I'm doing things. I'm, I'm really moving up in the world, calling my dentist and going to Target alone to, to buy books. Like, it sounds so like it wouldn't be a big deal or like a big thing to some people, but you know, when you have anxiety, like that's a lot. Anyways, should I just give you a haul now? Okay, we'll just give you a haul now. I don't want to wait. So I went to Sephora and I did really good. I only bought two things, which I'm proud of myself for. I bought this Sephora solid, solid brush and sponge cleaner with pad. I think it's just like the clean your brushes. Oh, it's just like a little thing that you like, you, you get like your brushes wet and then you like rub it in the soap and it's just like easier than having to like, I don't really know. I think it's just like, it just seemed easy and it was on sale and then you just let them dry rather than like having to like spray the soap. I don't even have soap, so I needed it anyways. And I never clean my brushes. That's one thing about me. Let me turn on there. One thing about me is I never clean my makeup brushes. And I know that's bad. And I know that's probably what's breaking me out. So now I'm going to clean my makeup brushes now. Thanks to this. And then I got the Kosas Super... Kosas? Kosas? I don't know. Kosas Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. Because... Oh, you can't see it. Because I've just been needing a new concealer. I got the e.l.f. Hydrating one. And I don't like it. Like, I've used it for a little bit. I think I just, I don't know if I got the wrong shade or if it just doesn't look good on me. And it's really dry for some reason. And I had dry skin. But this is super creamy and I had good reviews. And I am literally got the literal lightest shade. Which was humbling. 
as in store, I was like, no way. Like, no way I'm the lightest shade possible. I was looking, I was like, maybe one, one up from the bottom. I swatched on my arm, it was orange. I was like, oh, that's super humbling. Like, this is my shade. Can y'all see? I'm like, okay, this is my shade. That's humbling. This looks, I guess that is my shade. I don't know. But it's supposed to be like, I'm going to use it under my eyes anyway, so it's okay if it's too light, because it'll be brightening. I don't know. I'll try this soon. That's exciting. I'm just like, I have been like not wanting to buy, this is, I don't know if y'all care, but I have been like so adamant about like, no, I don't need like an expensive concealer. Like I can use a drugstore concealer, but unfortunately I don't like any of them. If I don't like it, I can always return it. That's a good thing about Sephora. Okay. Onto the books I got. I only got three books, which was pretty, well, I did order three more online. So I got six books, but only three in the store because, well, I didn't have the other ones I wanted. So they were doing the buy two, get one free. Don't know if I said that already. So I had to indulge in that. So be excited, guys. I got Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. I was going to get Assassin's Blade, but they didn't have it. So I did order it online. Don't worry, because I think that's the first three. I think you're supposed to go Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and then Assassin's Blade. So I have the first three. Well, once the other order comes in, I'll have the first three. And I just feel like, like, I had to take advantage of the sale and buy these now because, like, once I start Throne of Glass, it's going to be bad for my bank account if I, like, have to buy all of them, like, so soon. Because I have a feeling I'll read them, like, pretty close together. And if I buy three now, then I don't have to buy those later, you know? So it's, like, girl math. It saves me money. It doesn't save me money, but it saves me, like, a big chunk out of my account at once, if that makes sense. Y'all know what I mean. What do I mean, if that makes sense? Okay. Since they'll be on my shelf now and like staring me in the face, I feel like I'll read it sooner. So this is pretty smart on my part. And I love this. I love how this matches me today. And I'm super excited to read these. So I had to get them. And then since I needed one more book and they didn't have Assassin's Blade, I saw this sitting on the shelf, How to End a Love Story, which I haven't heard too much about. I think it's new, but it's a Target book club, which first of all, I can talk about the sticker not coming off. Makes me want to not buy the book. But since it is signed by the author, I did buy the book. And that honestly is the main reason why I bought it. It was signed and then I read the back and it did seem interesting. It's like, I think it's like, like, like forbidden romance kind of, but like not really. They like work together. Yeah, they work together and they're like, they can't be together, but they don't really want to be together anyways. That's all you need to know. And I'm excited to read them. Okay. I'm sweating. It's so hot and I'm going to go home now. I don't know what the rest of the day has in store. I'm going to start a new book. Because I'm motivated now. I love book shopping. It motivates you to read. Ugh, my teeth have been hurting all day. Like, they're so sensitive. And I did, like, my Crest 3D white strips today. But I, I always do them, and my teeth never feel like this. But today, they're so sensitive. Like, I was eating dinner, and I just didn't even want to eat because they hurt. I don't know what's up with that, but... I'm tired, and it's only... 7.43. And I'm about to get ready for bed. I'm about to take my makeup off and lay down in bed and read because I have to go to bed early because tomorrow I'm teaching dance and we all know I need energy for that and then at 4 I'm gonna be babysitting from like 4 p.m. to 11 so I'm gonna need a coffee and I'm gonna need energy so I need to go to bed early tonight so yeah I'm about to get ready for bed and go to bed oh, I hate taking off my makeup does anyone else hate taking off their makeup I love putting it on but by the end of the day I'm like I have to take it off like I want it off of me but I don't want to do it <laughs> but it also feels good to do it okay I'm gonna do it and then I'm going to bed okay I just got out of dance a little bit ago now I'm in line at Duncan this line is long though dance went pretty well though like the kids were kind of crazy but they weren't too bad and the preschool class got their costumes, so that was fun. It was so cute. But I always feel so bad because they'll put on their costumes. They're like, oh, it's so cute. Like, you look like a princess. And they'll be like, okay, it's time to take them off. And, like, let's go dance. And then, like, ball. Like, half of them start crying because they don't want to take their little costume off. And I feel bad. But we have to make sure they fit. Or, like, if we didn't have to make sure they fit, like, I would not even have them try them on at the dance studio because we just know they're just going to cry. So you, see, you have to take it off of them. But we have to make sure, like, they fit and, like, they look right. It's always a big deal, though. There's always people that cry. I'm tired, so I need this coffee. Hi, Emma. Hi. What's yes, name? Nicole. Thank you. Hey, 
Thank you so much. Okay, I'm out of red light. Taste test this. I got a large because I need a lot of energy today and I'll probably drink it throughout the day up until I have to go. So I got a cold brew with vanilla and oat milk. Mm -hmm. Pretty good today. Then I also got bagel bites, which is, if you've never had them at Dunkin', you need to. They're so good. These are just okay. They're kind of cold but pretty good. Okay, ignore my hair, it's a little oily. Oh, I forgot to take headache medicine. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Oh, jeez. I took my headache medicine, so we're good now. I didn't vlog the rest on Saturday because I was babysitting, and then Sunday, <laughs> I just didn't vlog. And then today I had work and then I've just been chilling, but I have like the worst headache. I don't know if it's like my allergies or what. But regardless, we got some packages today. So I thought it could be fun to unbox them for the vlog because I have not been vlogging. Usually, I don't do this much damage in one month. Um, but there happened to just be like a ton of sales. Like, sue me, okay? Ulta had a sale, Sephora had a sale, Target had a sale. That's just my little disclaimer. First is Ulta because here's the thing. I was placing my Sephora order. I was online at Sephora, you know, for the Sephora spring sale, looking at everything. I was like, oh, I need a new um, eyelash curler. Mine's really gross. Pretty sure that's what gave me a sty. So I was like, okay, let me look at them. Tell me why there's a $25 eyelash curler at Sephora. Like, I'm not spending $25 on a little thing to curl my eyelashes. So then I was like, ugh. So then I went to Ulta because I was like, Ulta will have a cheaper one. And that's what sparked all of this. So here's my eyelash curler. I got the Revlon one. I don't know. It looked good online. Plus it comes with like an extra one. So I was like, yes, please. And it was like $13 maybe. It's just an eyelash curler. Like I don't need anything crazy. This will do the job. Like I'm cheap on some things and that's one of them. Oh, I've also been wanting one of these puffs forever, like a powder puff. So I got the e.l.f. one because again... There was one at Sephora, I don't know what brand it was, maybe it was Sephora brand, but it was like $8 or something. So then I found this e.l.f. one for like $3 and I was like, okay, give me that one because it's like really, in reality, like how much of a difference is it going to make? I don't know. But I've been wanting something to like press my powder in, so. And then I needed a new blush brush because I got some new blushes. And my... I said this earlier when I was like showing my other Sephora purchases, but I never clean my brushes. Like I'm the worst at cleaning brushes. So I'm just going to throw away my old blush brush because it is disgusting and like years old. So I just got a new one and it's elf and it's cheap. So it wasn't like that big of a deal. Yeah. I feel like it'll do the job. And like I said, I just can't bring myself to spend a lot of money on like simple things like this, like a brush. Like I'm sure the other brushes at Sephora are fine, but $30 or something? No. Then I went down a blush rabbit hole and I was like this close to buying the Patrick Ta blush, the one that's like a powder and a cream and one, $38, $38, but I just like can't bring myself to spend that money. Like I wish I could, but like I would just feel so guilty. And so then I was like, oh, let me just like look at other blushes. I was on Sephora forever looking at blushes and I was just like, oh. Like, there has to be nice, affordable options for, like, a blush. Let me look at some affordable options. So I found two on TikTok that people were, like, raving about. First one is the Milani Baked Powder Blush, and I got the shade Dulce Pink. I got both of these blushes for less than, like, one blush at Sephora. We'll see how it works. Also, my blush that I, the powder blush I use is from, like, middle school. It's so old. So old. It's terrible. So I needed a new powder blush. That's what it looks like. People on TikTok were saying this rub on one is really good. And it's in the shade 3, Mobulous. This one's like less sparkly. This one's just like a matte blush. The other one's like sparkly. Okay, moving on. Now on to my Sephora order. <laughs> the first thing I got was... <laughs> they put it in this bag. I guess it doesn't spill. But this is just a restock of my Paula's Choice exfoliant thing. It is pricey, but it lasts forever. It's like a big bottle, and I still have some of my other one, but I went ahead and bought it back up just because it was on sale, so. And then I also bought more backups of my Summer Fridays lip balms. These are my favorite lip balms literally ever. 
They are pricey, but some things I will splurge on. I won't splurge on an eyelash curler or a blush or anything, but something like this, yeah, I'll splurge on because I will use it. And I like ran out of my other ones. Ugh, a brand new one just looks so crisp. I just like the vanilla one because it's like clear and it smells heavenly. Oh my gosh, if you haven't tried these, you really should. I know they're expensive, but I swear they're worth it. And then, oh wow, she's mini. She's cute. I got a mini Rare Beauty liquid blush because I really wanted another shade. I have the shade Bliss, but I wanted something a little bit darker because Bliss is very, very light. <laughs> it's so cute and little. Look how little this is. So I got the shade Happy. It's like the perfect bright pink. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This did not just happen. Okay. It's in my hair. It's on my bed. It's on my outfit. Oh my gosh. Like, how does that even happen? How does that even happen, literally? Oh, it's on my bed. Do you see it right here? Oh no. Oh no. All right, well that's not coming off. Okay, well I'm gonna have to wash that now. It's fine, it just gives it some personality if it doesn't come off. Moving on. Oh my God, my crates. When your book comes damaged, it's like the worst thing ever, but whatever. Oh my God, my cramps. Oh my god. Ugh. I have to go to the dentist. I was supposed to have my dentist appointment, I think, next week, but I ended up having to switch it. They put me on this, like, list that was like, we'll call you if you get any cancellations before then. And I was like, okay. And so they called me yesterday, and I was like, first of all, I don't like talking on the phone. Second of all... I don't know what second of all was, but I answered it and they were like, okay, well, we have an appointment for you tomorrow, so now I'm here. I'm not, like, scared of the dentist. I just have anxiety about, like, like, I don't mind the dentist part. It's just, like, the fact that I have to sit there. It's, like, okay, it's, like, feeling trapped. Like, I have to just sit there and, like, let them clean my teeth and, like, I can't leave. I, I mean, I could, but it's, like, socially not acceptable for me to just like get up and leave and like I need to get my teeth cleaning now but it's like the trapped feeling of just having to be there like wow well, that's like what gets me I don't know this lighting's also very terrible so sorry about that <sighs> but I'm about to go in wish me luck like I don't even mind like the the cleaning part like and I want my teeth to be clean also like the whole time to stress that I have a cavity because <laughs> they don't tell you to the end I really hope I don't have one but at least I'm getting it over with. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm sweating. I'm proud of myself for, like, going and getting this done, even though I wanted to put it off. But, like, I can't any longer. I need to go. Okay. I'm gonna go in. Now my heart is going. But it's literally gonna be fine. Like, I know it's gonna be fine. Okay. I'm going in. Wish me luck. I finished at the dentist. No cavities. Woo! My teeth hurt, though. Not gonna lie. Now I have to go pick up the dogs from the groomers. Alone. So I gotta put this thing up. We have a little, <laughs> we have a little gate thing. Not a gate, what is this called? Net. There we go, and I'll tighten it when we get there so they can't jump up here because they like to sit in my lap while I'm driving and I just can't deal with that. I got the dogs. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. He's watching other people. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I have not been vlogging too much lately <laughs> but to be fair yesterday and the day before i started filming a 24-hour readathon i have literally done nothing else but like sit there and read in between like going to work and stuff but i thought i would sit down and here and do my makeup because it's the lighting's so much better and i can kind of give you an update on the products i've been using and give you kind of like a life update too but get excited for my 24-hour readathon <laughs> hopefully it'll come up soon Ugh, not having a sink near me is probably gonna cause my downfall, but it's fine right now. Update on the Kosas concealer. I love it, honestly. Which is like kind of unfortunate because it's expensive. 
it's very creamy and like the perfect shade a lot of the times like concealers sometimes are too pink for me i don't know i feel like they look weird on my skin but overall i'm happy with this purchase even though it's expensive i got it on sale at least and i'm kind of like debating starting a big like popular series like there's a few in my mind that i kind of want to start like i just have like that urge to start a long series you know and one of the ones i'm thinking about is the addicted series i have the first two books and i've been thinking about starting a series forever but i always put it off because it's so long i'm kind of like really wanting a long series where i just don't have to think about like i don't know like sometimes starting a new book is so discouraging and you just like i don't feel like doing that and like having whole new characters a whole new world like sometimes i just want to be in one world for a while like with akatar and stuff and i don't really want a fantasy series right now like a long one I kind of do want to start like either the Addicted series or I've also thought about starting the Boys of Tommen series, but I don't have those, so I feel like I should wait on that. Or I can start the Chestnut Springs series. Like, I don't know. There's so many series. Or the Magnolia Park series. I don't know. Let me know what series you think I should start first because I'm just kind of in the mood for a long series, like I said. Some other life updates, I guess. Not much is going on, really. But I do love my new nannying job so much like literally i haven't seen them since wednesday or tuesday i literally miss that little boy so much like i'm like this is so weird <laughs> like not being with him and seeing him i really love working there and working for them like he's the sweetest little boy and i just think working with children is so like fulfilling in a way like i love being around children they i love working with children like it doesn't even feel like work i just you know i just get to spend time with a child and just take care of them for a little bit like that is such a rewarding job and I think it's just what I truly love to do honestly like I love being around children even like all ages like even at the dance studio like they just yes they're like a lot but they also just leave me feeling so fulfilled and like energized and like I don't know happy <laughs> I'm so lucky that I got this nannying job because I don't know if I would have like put myself out there and like realized this is what I wanted to do right now kind of want to start teaching more dance classes so hopefully i can figure that out because i do still want to open my own dance studio and i think the more dance classes i teach and like the more i'm around the dance studio obviously like i'm going to get more experience and i love teaching dance so i don't know but i feel content right now where i am like i know i talked about this in another vlog where i felt like i was in like this waiting period of my, of my life where i'm just like waiting to be like older and like be able to have kids and be able to open my own dance studio and i was saying how like it's kind of weird that like no one i know like at least that i've seen like goes through that at least not like where they talk about it especially after college a lot of people go straight into like a career and i'm like i don't even know what i'm doing but i feel way better about this situation because i'm like okay i'm still so young i'm 22 and i still have time to figure that out <laughs> and i just feel confident in myself that i love what i'm doing right now i love where i'm at right now and i'm like why would i want to change it just because i feel like i should you know because i still haven't listened to taylor swift's album i know well literally i was dumb and i was like i'm gonna start my 24 hour readathon the day the album comes out so it's like i literally cannot spend the time to listen to this album because i'm also counting out audiobooks in my readathon so any spare moment that i'm not staring at a book i was listening to an audiobook so i couldn't even listen to music because i was like i need to just get this <laughs> 24 hour readathon going so i haven't even listened to the album yet Ugh. i'm hoping i will later today though i just can't believe i haven't done it yet i feel like a fake fan <sighs> also i feel <laughs> i cannot take myself seriously with this on thing on my eye hold on i also kind of feel like this year has been the most like eventful in like my life changing way but like i've really been focusing this year on improving myself doing things out of my comfort zone and like trying to better myself which i i'm so proud of myself for doing i just feel like this year maybe it's because i'm like out of college i don't know but i feel like i'm really maturing in a way and maybe it's just because i'm finally coming to terms with it and like being like you're an adult you need to like do adult things and be mature i don't know i've already seen like a lot of growth and i especially think with like youtube and stuff it's definitely helped me so much and i'm so thankful that i started this youtube channel like so thankful i just can't believe like my life is so different now than it was six months ago or something like it's just so crazy how life can change so quick anyways yeah i just feel like i'm really focusing this year on improving <laughs> on myself and doing things that are scary 
because I feel like all throughout college, like, I had all my college classes online, and I was just living my most comfortable, introverted life, and, like, not doing, like, anything that I didn't want to do, not being out of my comfort zone at all, which is, like, fine. Like, I don't regret that. Like, I had a great college experience just living my life, working, doing online classes. I did not work on myself at all through that process, because, I mean, I was so focused on school. This year, I was like, okay, you're out of college, like, you have no excuse to, like, get your stuff together and, like, start cooking, being responsible, all this stuff, so. This age is so interesting because you're just learning so much. Like, I'm learning so much in my 20s and so crazy. <laughs> I guess that's all the life updates I have. I don't really know. I just kind of rambled for hmm, 16 minutes. Great. Probably will cut a lot of that out, but. Well, thanks for listening to me rant. Hopefully what I said made any sort of sense sometimes i just talk and then i'm at the end i'm like wait did i say anything that made any sense like i genuinely don't know so hopefully i did <laughs> oh, so we're doing that with mascara on because i never do because baby love